Hey, how y'all doing? It's another episode of True Seeking Trucker. We're getting our Father's Word in the book of Genesis, chapter 29. Let's begin with a moment of prayer. Father God, thank you for this blessed day. Thank you for giving us another day of life, giving us uh, new blessings. And uh, may we ha have someone to talk to about the Lord Jesus today. And uh, we ask for your guidance and directions. Give us eyes to see and ears to hear, Holy Spirit. Give us a word of knowledge and wisdom so we can better understand and decipher the word uh, that is being for, uh, uh, given to us. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. All right. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. All right. Genesis 29, verse 1, it reads, Then Jacob went on his journey and came into the land of the people of the east. And he looked, and behold, a well in the field. And lo, there were three flocks of sheep lying by it. For out of that well they watered their flocks, and a great stone was upon the well's mouth. Verse 3. And thither were all the flocks gathered, and they rolled the stone from the well's mouth and watered their sheep, watered the sheep, and put the stone again upon the well's mouth in its place. Verse 4, And Jacob said unto them, My brethren, whence be ye? And they said, Of Haran. And are we? Verse 5, And he said unto them, Know ye Laban, the son of Nahor? And they said, We know him. Verse 6, And he said unto them, Is he well? And they said, He is well, and beheld Rachel the daughter coming with the sheep. So, this is... Uh, Jacob, the, this chapter is about Jacob um, and his wives, and they will be the patriarchs, the, all the children, their offspring shall be the patriarchs of the 12 tribes of Israel. So each son shall be named after one of the tribes. So um, Haran, I believe, is the place where um, Abraham's tomb was, and uh, this is, these are the places where... Um, uh, God has led Jacob to, and so we are, uh, he is, uh, seeking after his, uh, relative, I believe it's her, uh, mother's, his mother's brother, so even though they live in this area in Syria, it doesn't mean that they are Syrian, and they they held to the standard of staying married within the tribes and for the inheritance. Um, and uh, it's just like when a, um, somebody from Europe uh, moved to America back in the days. Um, they are American in the country of America, but their genealogy or the heritage comes from uh, a homeland. So verse 7. And he said, Lo, it is yet a high day, neither is it time that the cattle should be gathered together. Water ye the sheep, and go and feed them. Verse 8. And he said, We cannot until all the flocks be gathered together, until they roll the stone from the well's mouth. Then we water for the sheep. So there must have been uh, uh, some kind of issue maybe with the, with the stone that's covering the, the mouth of the of the um the well maybe it's, it was great stone it was pretty heavy and or they just found it better that they all did it at one time uh, verse 9 and while ye spake with them rachel came with her father's sheep for she kept them verse 10 and it came to pass when jacob saw rachel the daughter of laban his mother's brother and the sheep of laban his mother's brother and then went and that Jacob went near and rolled the stone from the well's mouth and watered the flock of Laban, his mother's brother. Verse 11, and Jacob kissed Rachel and lifted up his voice and wept. Um, he uh, kissed her in a way that uh, was like a greeting. So uh, still holding to the traditions and, and the respect of one who is not married uh, with the 
And you know that uh, some of the Middle Eastern people, they'll um, kiss each other in the cheek. So, but uh, Jacob was um, struck with love. I mean, he, he saw her and it was a kind of a, you know, if you believe in love at first sight. And I believe Jacob had this kind of a yearning to, to be ma married to her. Verse 12. And Jacob told Rachel that he was her father's brother, that he was Rebecca's son, and she ran and told her father. Verse uh, 13. And it came to pass when Laban heard the tiding of Jacob, his son, his sister's son, that he ran to meet him and embraced him and kissed him and brought him to his house. And he told Laban all these things. Verse 14. And Laban said to him, Surely thou art my bone and my flesh. And he abode with him the space of a month. He said, Hey, st stick around. Um, stay with us for a month. You know, take your kick your feet up. You're our guest. Verse 15. And Laban said unto Jacob, Because thou art my brother, shouldest thou therefore serve me for that? Tell me, what shall thy wages be? So, him being a uh, family, uh, distant family, you know, maybe he didn't grow up with them, but he's his nephew. Uh, shouldn't you uh, be part of this uh, this agreement here and this, uh, you know, to work with me? Verse 16. And Laban had two daughters, and the name of the elder was Leah, and the name of the younger was Rachel. Verse 17. Leah was tender-eyed, but Rachel was beautiful and well-favored. Verse 18, and Jacob loved Rachel and said, I will serve thee seven years for Rachel, thy younger daughter. And Laban said, it is better that I give her to thee than I should give her to another man. Abide with me. Stay with me. Next slide. Verse 20, and Jacob served seven years for Rachel, and they seemed unto him but a few days for the love he had to her time passed fast he probably was thinking about her he probably was um uh, it was his her she was in his head uh continually verse 21 and jacob said unto laban give me my wife for my days are fulfilled that i may go unto her that i may be married and uh and have children have a family Verse 22, and Laban gathered together all the men of the place and made a feast. So they are getting ready for a marriage. 23, and it came to pass in the evening that he took Leah, his daughter, and brought her to him, and he went into her. So he must, she must have had a veil. You know, he didn't notice that who she was. 24, and Laban gave unto the daughter of Leah, Zilpha his maid for a handmaid. So this was the custom that um, not only sometimes when you got married, uh, that the, whoever the handmaids were of the wife would go with uh, uh, the uh, the family as well. Verse 25, And it came to pass that in the morning, behold, it was Leah. And he said unto Laban, What is thou hast done, with, done unto me? I did not serve thee for Rachel, wherefore... Then how hast thou beguiled me? How hast thou tricked me? 26. And Laban said, It may not be so done in our country to give the younger before the firstborn. 27. Fulfill her week, and he will give thee this also for the service which thou hast served with me yet seven other years. So there's another agreement. It's not custom to give the first. This was his excuse. Even though he broke his uh, his word, um, he uh, he still promised her to him. And Jacob, being fatuated with Rachel, uh, loving her, um, he was gonna follow her and until she was his. Uh, verse uh, twenty uh, seven.
fulfill her week, and I will give thee this also the service which thou hast served me yet another, yet seven other years. So another agreement to serve seven more years. Verse 28, Jacob did so and fulfilled her week, and he gave him Rachel, his brother, his daughter to wife also. 29, Laban gave to Rachel, his daughter, and Bilia, his handmaid, to be her maid. So Rachel um, uh, betrothed Jacob, uh, excuse me, Laban betrothed Jacob, Rachel, and then Rachel brought her handmaid as well. Verse 30. And he went into, went in also unto Rachel, and he loved also Rachel more than Leah, or exactly, so he loved her more, so he loved Leah less, and served him yet seven other years. Verse 31. And when the Lord saw that Leah was hated, or loved less, he opened her womb, and Rachel was barren. So Leah's womb was opened, and Rachel was barren. Verse 32, and Leah conceived and bare a son, and she called her, his name Reuben. So this was the firstborn of the tribes of Israel. For she said, Surely the Lord hath looked upon my affliction, and now therefore my husband will love me. Verse 33. And he and she conceived again and bore a son, and said, Because the Lord hath heard that I was hated, he hath given me this son also. And he called his name Simeon. There's one of the other names of the tribes. Verse 34, and she conceived again and bore a son again. And now this time with my husband to be joined unto me because I have borne him three sons. Therefore, his name was Levi. And this would be the priest line of the tribes of Israel. Um, and I believe that word Levi means to be joined unto. Verse 35, and she conceived again and bare a son. And she said, now I will praise the Lord. Therefore, and she called his name Judah, the left bearing. So Judah mean praise as well. So that's the king line of uh, the tribe of where King David shall come through. And eventually our Lord and Savior um, will be born through the, the tribe of Judah. So we know that Christ was part of the tribe of Levi and the part tribe of the part of Judah of the priest line and the king line. And uh and with that, um this is the story of Jacob and the beginning of the birth of the patriarch. So God bless you, take care, have a great rest of your day.